Welcome to the Life Touch Yearbook Training Series. In this episode, you'll learn how to tag candid images of students and staff so that their pictures can be found using the yearbook's index. The index is an alphabetical listing of the subjects in the yearbook alongside a list of all the page numbers where they're pictured or referenced. Here, we have a page spread that includes a couple portrait panels, as well as a variety of candid images. We don't need to worry about tagging the portraits because the yearbook website automatically tagged them for the index when they were flowed to a yearbook page. We do, however, want to tag these candid images so that the yearbook website knows who's in them. That way, when we create our index, this page number will be listed next to their name, making it easy to find the places where these subjects are pictured or referenced in the yearbook. One important thing to note, we'll want to wait until our school's portrait images have been imported to the yearbook website. That's what creates a subject record for each student or staff member and allows us to search for their names when we're tagging. Okay, let's try tagging a name on one of these images. First, we'll select an image and click the Tools icon. Then, we'll select Tag Students for Indexing. In the search field, we'll type at least three letters of the subject's name. I know this goalie's name is Charlie Lasserud, so I'll start typing Charlie. And there he is. I'll click on his name to select him, and then click Add. Great, so here's Charlie's name. If I hover over that, I'll get a little thumbnail image of him, which can help me verify I have the correct student. Here we have the student's grade, and then here is a little trash icon. Clicking that will remove this tag. Let's hit save. So now when we generate an index, Charlie will have a 19 listed next to his name, indicating that there's an image or text reference of him on page 19. We can use the same process for group images. Let's click on this image of the team with the trophy. I'll click the tools menu and select tag students for indexing. I already have most of my names added, but I noticed one student named Neil Olson is missing. Let's get him added. I'll start by typing his name. And there. I'll click his name and click Add. Now if we scroll down, we can see that he's been added to the list of tags. Since there's multiple names tagged to this image, you'll notice that we have some up and down arrows on the left. This allows us to rearrange the list of names in any order we like. This won't affect how the names appear in the yearbook index, but it will make it easy to arrange these names for use in a text box. For example, I want to copy this list of names to include in a caption next to the image. I'd like to arrange the names alphabetically, so let's move Neil Olson up a few spaces by clicking the up arrow next to his name. There, my list is now alphabetized. I want to copy this to my clipboard, so I'll click Copy Name List to Clipboard, and then click Save. Now let's get those names added to our caption. I'll click on the text box, and then place my cursor where I'd like to paste my list of names. Next, I'll use a keyboard shortcut to paste the list from our clipboard. So we'll press Control V, or Command V if you're on a Mac. And there's our list of names. In addition to tagging subject names and images, we can also tag a text box. For example, here we have a quote from a student named Daria Ivy. We can use the same process to tag this text box so that the page with her quote will appear next to her name in the index. We'll click on the text box to select it, click the tools icon, and select Tag Students for Indexing. In the search field, we'll start typing her name, Daria, and there she is. We'll select her name and click Add. And then click Save. And that's how to tag candid images and text to be included in the index. For more information on working with indexes, check out our other episodes. Happy yearbooking!